All right, shalom, shalom. It's a brother Kasha Kuala coming back at you with a, a fairly quick lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elect, uh, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. This lesson is going to be about encouraging one another. You know, I had a, I got a, off a phone call with a brother earlier today in my camp, um, and he called to say like. One of my lessons encouraged him, all right, and it uplifted him. All the lessons that we do should be edifying and encouraging to the body. Not just the body, but to the elect 144 that we're out searching for. And the sincere one-third who, who listen and subscribe to our works, okay? This is what we do it for, man. That's why the scriptures say we endure all things for the elect's sake. But the main thing I want to focus on is in your lessons, encourage one another, man. Encourage one another, build one another. All right, edify one another. All right, that brings each uh, one closer to another. Now, speaking so for myself, the, the the way you get encouraged from others, you gotta watch their videos. Okay, you gotta get better at watching other brothers' videos. Okay, so as much as you keep up with the apostles and elders, keep up with a few brothers in your camp as well, cause you with them every day almost, or you see them every week. Okay, so just keep up with them. You know, without further ado, I'm going to get Deuteronomy chapter, thir uh, chapter 3, verse 28. It says, but charge Joshua, all right, and encourage him and strengthen him, for he shall go over before his people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou, uh, which, yeah, which thou shall see. That's right, because Joshua was going to be the new leader instead of Moses, because we know Moses didn't make it into the promised land, all right? The Lord didn't deem that necessary. But what he did deem necessary is for Joshua to be the next, uh, his successor, okay? And for him to lead the people into the promised land. But the point of the matter is, it said encourage him. So we're going to get the word encourage, <clears throat> all right? The word encourage is a chazak, and it means to strengthen, prevail, harden, be strong, become strong, be courageous, be firm, grow firm, be resolute. Be, uh, be sore, to be strong, grow strong, to prevail, prevail upon, to be for firm, okay, to be rooted, okay, to be uh, caught fast, scriptures say stand fast, to be secure, all right, to press, uh, be urgent, okay, and these are all like synonyms to the word encourage, all right, which is, is uh, ch, za, and qua, so uh, chazak, all right. So we're going to get the word um, encouragement real quick. Or encourage. Yeah, that's even better. All right, encourage. It says give support, confidence, or hope to someone. All right, we are supposed to give hope and support and confidence to one another. All right, we're supposed to build each other's confidence and, and, and build each other's belief. We're supposed to be a crutch. What is that, what uh, Jay-Z said in one of his rap songs, is like, just paraphrasing, like, um, we each other's crutches, pretty much, all right? So it says, um, be thou brother's keeper. It says, give support and advice to someone. Give advice, Advi giving advice to a brother or admonishment or exhortation to Akim is encouraging them, okay? It says, so that they will do or continue to do something. That's right. Help or stimulate an activity, state, or view to develop. And I'm going to read some of the synonyms because the synonyms are, are, are heavy. Hearten, cheer. It says um, uplift, inspire, motivate. All right. Stir, stir up, fire up, stimulate, uh, invigorate, vitalize, revitalize, embolden, fortify. Okay. Rally, you know, rally together. It says persuade, coax. Urge, press, push, pressure. You put that pressure on a brother, man. All right, you put that pressure on a brother. Let me see if I can um, get something real quick. Because uh, saying that pressure, this is uh, 2 Corinthians. I want to say it's the fifth. Yeah, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay, let's get the word persuade. All right, persuade, a synonym for that is, is encouragement. See, confidence, to be confident, 
have confidence, persuade. The Greek word for that is patho or pitho. All right, it says persuade, to persuade, to induce one, uh, uh, one by words to believe, which is encouragement, okay, to make friends of, to win one's favor, gain one's goodwill, or to seek to win one, strive to please one. Right, tranquilize, it says uh, to persuade unto, move or induce one to persuasion, to do something, okay? Have confidence and to be confident and obey, to yield to and com uh, comply with, all right? When you're encouraging somebody, that's what's happening, uh, that's what's going on in their mental. They, they, in due turn, they're persuaded, therefore they become confident and they yield, all right? And they comply and they obey because we're not coming out of our own mouth, we're coming from the Lord, okay? So with that, let's go to Joshua, one of my favorite scriptures, Joshua 1 and 8, or 1 and 9, one of them. We're going to get it. This is Joshua, uh, yeah, 1 and 9. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? All right, the word encourage has courage in it. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy power is with thee and whither and whither with thee whithersoever thou goest. That's right. That's a commandment. To and this is a commandment. It's a it's a commandment to to. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm speaking as a man, but I strongly advise, which I just read the word advice to encourage brothers, man. Okay, that is something that you must do, man. You got to encourage one another to keep pushing, cause the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. You got to keep put. You got to keep pushing and pressing and persuading and encouraging the laborers that you with, because there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be good, to be done. Now, I don't want to make this lesson too long, so I'm going to get one more precept. This is Hebrews chapter 12 and 12. It says, Wherefore, lift up, up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees. That's right. So the ones who are, who are, who are weak, okay, for say, man, lift them up. Keep them going. Okay, that makes me think of a, a, a precept. Um, I want to say it's uh, it maybe Second Thessalonians. Nah. Let's see. How is it First Thessalonians? Either way. Nah, I think it's. Let me say it's First Thessalonians, but I'm gonna keep going. It says, matter of fact, let me get Second Thessalonians. Uh, First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, I want to say. Bear with me, Aki. Yeah, there we go. First Thessalonians 5 and 14. It says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. And what is that? It says, comfort the feeble-minded, encourage them. All right? Warn the unruly, encourage them, persuade, so they keep on, uh, so they stop doing one thing and continue doing another one thing in righteousness okay it says that um this is an exhortation from paul which he's encouraging the thessalonians all right he says support the weak so the word support the word support is almost like a synonym to um to uh, encourage all right it says and be patient toward all men all right so again he was told therefore lift up there you go uh, uh, um, a, a two-word synonym for encourage is to uplift, all right? It says, wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, okay? Which, in a sense, this is a, a spiritual sense. Lift up them spirits who are down, down and out. No, nah, bro, encourage them, okay? Encourage them, all right? It says, in the feeble knees, the feeble, weak knees, okay? Let's get the word feeble, all right? And it's a, a paraluo, paraluo. And it means to loose on on one side or from the other side. So you're shaking and quivering, okay, to weaken, all right? So lift up them feeble, weak knees, man, okay? Spiritually, lift up their spirits and encourage one another. Through your videos, you encourage one another and you keep it going and you keep each other pushing. That's just 100% true. It's 100% true. So, matter of fact, let me get one more precept. Uh, I want to say Isaiah. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaiah 35 and 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Confirm the feeble knees. Okay. 
Salatu. Confirm the feeble knees. It says to be uh, to be strong, alert, courageous, brave, stout, bold, st uh, solid, or hard. All right, you gotta confirm these things. Okay, confirm them. I think the word for that is uh, amataz. If I'm, if I may be going off, but that's what I, that's what it sounds like. All right. But it, again, it says strengthen ye the weak, strengthen the 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 weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Okay. So when you do your videos, man, strengthen one another, all right? Encourage one another, build one another up, and always, and always remember who's watching your videos, okay? There's people out there who you're encouraging day by day, day in and day out. So keep doing what you're doing, man. This is encouragement to y'all out there to keep doing what y'all doing, man, all right? If any brother needed encouragement, you know? Because real, real talk, you should be self-motivated to do this, man. That's another, that's another, uh, um, a synonym to uh, the word encourage. You got to be motivated to do what you do, man. You got to love what you do. Love pushing the name of your Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai and encourage one another through that name. Okay? Ba'ashim Rechakwadash. Okay? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'm the brother Kasha Parla from the GMS Atlanta Church, giving all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will. Peace, love, salutation to the 1144 first fruit. Until next time, I want to say shalom.